So welcome back everybody to a new video. Uh, so this is uh, not a complete tutorial but it's a talk through how I made this uh, doormat and I'm gonna explain to you step by step how I made it and uh, all the links to the tutorial of each step will be uh, down in the description box. So as you can see I have used the bubble stitch for this tutorial and I also use the single crochet stitch. Uh, this is a very easy one to do. The only downside to it that it takes time because the bubbles, uh, they do take time when uh, you decide to make this pattern. And also it's tiring to the arm and hand. So you need a little patience, but the end result is really worth it. So the bubble stitch, I have made a tutorial already previously on how to make it. The only difference you need to know here is how many chain I made initially. And I have made uh, 80 chains. So I started with 80 chains. Then I made a single crochet to start with the uh, first row. And then on the second row, I started with a bubble stitch. So this pattern is one row of bubble stitch, one row of single crochet, then you change the color, bubble stitch, single crochet, then you change the color. I have used the cotton yarn here, the usual one I'm using for many of my tutorials. And I have made, I have used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and 13 colors and I uh, reuse the same colors uh, backwards so not again uh, with a turquoise but with a pink then orange and again until I reach the turquoise color so uh, this uh, was enough so 12 it was total of 24 rows and later on I had made the uh, contouring or the framing of the uh, doormat uh, with a single crochet using a single crochet again and also I have a different video on how to make uh, this single crochet around any piece of your work so this is it it's very short uh, video I hope it is clear and you will try this pattern let me know what you think in the comment box and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.